yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, only 2K Joey, back again. And I'm going to be showing you one of the best builds no one ever talks about in 2K20. So stay tuned right now. And if you're new here, make sure you drop a subscribe. I'm not monetized. I'm doing this just for the love of the game right now. Let's get right into it. So, you want to build the best shooting guard build you possibly can. He's an absolute monster. You can do anything on the court. This is what you want to build. The Allen Iverson build. So, obviously, that's why you clicked in the video. Let's get right into it. So, we're going to make him number three. Obviously, he's a shooting guard. Continue. So... Allen Iverson is actually a playmaking sharpshooter, equally. So, we want to do the shooting and the playmaking badges, for, and you want to make sure he's a shooting guard. So, now, you want him to be as fast as he can, maybe not with the highest vertical. Iverson did have a high vertical, though. So, how fast can we make him with a good vertical? 87 speed. Iverson was an absolute monster. So it's the top pie chart. So now we want to max out close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk. Okay, we want those maxed out. Now we want to max out all of the shooting and all of the playmaking. That's what Iverson does. And he you'll be able to use the Iverson dribble packages. And you guys, I'm going to be actually using this build. So make sure you pay attention to me as my progression goes on. So now, the essentials on defense. We're going to do lateral quickness is the number one essential. Perimeter defense, then steals. These are the absolute essentials. Now, can we squeeze another finishing badge out of here? Iverson is a definitely a finisher. There we go. Now, body shape. He was not burly. He might be slight. So now look at the stats. Something very interesting is about to happen. Check out my physicals in the top right. And check out my playmaking. As we know, Iverson was probably at least a 90. You know, when it came to ball handling and po ball handling, he was like a 95. And, you know, he was like six foot, though. Six foot one is my height. Here we go. Six foot. Iverson was six foot. Now, standing dunk and driving dunk takes a hit. Okay. Lateral quickness. Driving layup went up, though. But at lateral quickness went up. Steals went up. We're going to keep it like that. So, weight, is there really any incentive to go in 155? We get way more lateral quickness. Not that we need it. Um, hey Siri, how heavy was Iverson? I'm hit. The answer I found is 165 pounds. So he was 165. He was down there. I didn't even notice that. Six foot, 165. Wow. He was a beast. So I'm going to be using this Iverson build. What was Iverson's wingspan? I found this on the web. What is Allen Iverson's wingspan? Here are career stats for Allen Iverson in the NBA. What is Allen Iverson's wingspan? Here are career stats for Allen Iverson in the NBA. Uh, it's showing me I Yahoo. Can't do that. What's Iverson's wingspan? Here's what I found. There we go. Here's his draft profile. Come on. We need to see this. This is college profile. That's weird to see this much in the future. 
I don't know. It doesn't say Allen Iverson's wingspan, but whatever gives them more ball handling, we're going to... Oh, there it is. 95 ball handling, 85-3. We're going to go with that. So now Iverson was definitely a playmaker. Freeze defenders 100%. So, boom, what did we get? Right there, baby. Allen Iverson build. And we're going to start my, my career... Just like that. There we go. There you have it. The Allen Iverson build. Do what you want with it. If you want to, I'm going to be coming back with you with more builds so you can see how to build different people. And uh, like I said, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much. Drop a subscribe on the video and have a good day.